The Ambassador Bridge are trying a new tactic to keep a second international span from becoming a reality. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury with their TV plea to the president. The owners of the Ambassador Bridge are calling the Gordie Howe International Bridge un-American and a new commercial. Dear Mr. President, there are two grand new bridges being proposed in Detroit between America and Canada. Those two bridges are the Gordie Howe Bridge and a second span to the Ambassador Bridge. The commercial says one bridge is American, the other Canadian. Not true, says officials with the Windsor Detroit Bridge Authority. Even though the Gordie Howe Bridge is financed by Canada, it will be owned by both Michigan and Canada. The commercial hinted that the Gordie Howe Bridge is taking away American jobs, something WDBA officials say is a lie. So this bridge is going to bring economic stimulus to both countries, to both communities, and certainly it's going to provide economic and employment opportunities to communities on both sides of the border. Construction in and around the area of the Gordie Howe Bridge has already begun. The second span for the Ambassador Bridge is still in its blueprint stage, reportedly because if that is built, the current one must come down. This commercial is the Maroon family's chance to have President Trump halt the Gordie Howe Bridge during a time when tensions are increasing between the two countries. Canada and the United States have been allies for many, many years and will continue to be allies and good neighbors for many years to come. The two countries share a trading relationship at the envy of the world. The commercial also takes a jab at former President Obama for issuing a presidential permit and, quote, siding with Canada, allowing the Gordie Howe Bridge to be built without American steel. But officials we spoke with say the agreement states the materials must be from North America. Any iron or steel for the project on the U.S. side or for the international bridge must be produced in Canada or the United States. And the plans are still in place. Construction of the bridge is expected to begin in the next few months. In Windsor, Canada, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.